a boomer. I think I'm a zoomer. I think I'm a doomer. Damn, I'm not a zoomer. Okay. E double G W H I T E coming with the heat. I stay fooling with my bot, my tunes will make your speakers hot. Dance floor, hop, scotch, baby. Tunes. Welcome to the Grillcast, the only podcast dedicated to radical centrism. I'm your host, Micah, and Orion is still not here. I do have a very special and controversial guest on the show today, a guest who has unleashed an invariable shit show onto the internet. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to thank this episode's sponsor, rdrama.net. It's our shitposting forum. So to introduce our guest, I have a representative for the creators of the infamous Etika NFT, Antilla. Hey, how's it going? Thanks and it, for having me. It, is, it, is it Antilla or Antila? It's Antila. Antila. Okay, I got you. And... um. So th- things have been rough, eh? I, I've I haven't heard too much about about what's what's going on, but um, things haven't been going been going great with the launch of this. And and you know I'm not super familiar with the whole concept. I mean NFTs becoming this big new this big new thing, this big new wave being used for all sorts of stuff from artistic autistic venture capitalism to the fair distribution of N word passes. Uh, what was the motivation behind your group's creation of this NFT, and uh, what do you think people are getting wrong about it? So we created this NFT to memorialize, um, you know, a famous YouTuber who touched the lives of many with his view, his videos, you know, his commentary on Nintendo, on gaming. You know, um, we we just wanted to create something special mm-hmm. on his behalf or not his behalf uh, you guys so you have to cut that uh we wanted to create something special so that we could memorialize him because one thing that he had was that his fans were very upset with him for a while and that's why a lot of his fans turned on him and sadly caused etika's demise and god like rest in peace because he was such a great YouTuber. Now this this is a this is a very um, I mean this is a very serious accusation you're making here uh, about this about this content creator. Um, do you have any? And of course, here at the Grillcast, we care deeply about uh, people having accredited sources to back up their claim. Now, can you provide any further information as to uh, what you're talking about? I I would appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. So we made this NFT yesterday. We launched it yesterday. And at the beginning, it was, you know, it was a slow rollout. But then overnight, everything just kind of exploded this morning. You know, I was, we were getting pinged by people that, you know, I, I think they were fans of the NFT, but I'm not sure if, uh, you know, they, they had some criticism or not. But the, overall, you know, people are, are uh, it's mixed, right? Like, uh, I would say 10% of people are telling us, wow, this artwork is great. Right. And the another 90% is, you know, telling us that we should kill yeah, ourselves. Yeah, so gen- generally mixed reviews. Correct. But I think that this NFT is going to prove our critics very wrong because we're coming out with a collection of them and there's going to be more of them. And we're taking community input and making um, NFTs based on their feedback. And I think they're just going to love it. I got you. I mean, I, I and <laughs> tell tell me a little bit about this group that you're in behind the the uh, this whole this whole new NFT. This Antila is that supposed to make me think of Antifa, or is it just a coincidence that they sound the same? Uh, it's a coincidence. Um, uh, I don't want to you know go too deep in our story, but essentially, you know, we started off. Um, as a group called anti land phobia. So, oh, okay, we were, okay. yeah, you know, we were essentially, um, what, what, is, what, what, and what exactly does, does a, a man who used to, um, uh, make money off of, off of, uh, people's enjoyment of Nintendo have to do with, uh, fighting for, uh, land rights, I, I assume. 
Well, so we're just the distributor of the NFT, but the reason we created it because we wanted to memorialize him, um, like I said earlier, and we knew that his fans would really like the NFT. I mean, yes, yeah, some of them disagree with it, um, but we're taking everybody's feedback and we're polishing the NFTs. We're going to put more on Rarible, um, you know, keep an eye out on that link in the description. And um, essentially, we're going to, um, you know, take community input and basically keep evolving. Um, yeah, basically, you know, we put a lot of hard work into these. Um, we, we like, you know, we saw a lot of explosive reaction to it. Um, right. Yeah, and I, more. I, I've, seen, I've seen some of that um, explosion. And I've seen some of the uh, the uh, the offended and uh, upset reactions uh, directed towards uh, you know this project that you have going on and you know uh, here at the Grillcast obviously we we like to give everybody a fair shake uh, a fair hand um, you know we we try not uh, to discriminate or be prejudiced or input our own biases into uh, whatever it is our, our guests have going on. So, you know, I, I do want to cover uh, just uh, as we as we sort of del uh, dive into this this whole situation. Uh, one of the articles uh, talking about your your project, do you, do you mind? No, go for it. Right. So uh, this this was uh, published on uh, Dixerto dot com. Uh, so they they write that the NFT project uh, Etika Punks, which is the Twitter handle, am I correct? Yes. That's Etika Punks was announced via Twitter on January fourth, twenty twenty two. While the creators state that the project is meant to commemorate Etika's life, as you stated, uh, the vast majority of replies have been negative. Which, to be fair, you also stated, uh, users are calling the Etika Punks disgraceful, gross. Disgusting, ew, icky, yuck. And other users are calling for the account and its tweets to be reported for using the likeness of a deceased co uh, creator without consent from the person's family. Now, <clears throat> does it does it at all make you happy to know that people at least recognize that this image does resemble the late content creator? Definitely. It makes me happy because we put a lot of work into this art. We spent a lot of time creating it this NFT um, and, and the fact that they can see his, you know, his power and his, uh, you know, the way he, he was a big deal to all these viewers. Um, we love that they recognize that because he had such a huge impact on the whole gaming community. So I totally get it. You know, people are upset that he, you know, he passed away. It was very tragic. But to touch on your other part, I mean, you're not you, you're not Mister, as far as I can tell, right? And 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 to the point that um, you know, I, I asked that question. Uh, he 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 did own a Nintendo Switch, correct? We yeah, we. I mean, I own a Nintendo Switch. I of love, course, uh, I mean, so I do I. Who, Nintendo Switch. Who doesn't? Um, he was he was an African American male. Yeah, and. As far as we as far as we know, <clears throat> he did enjoy bananas. Do you want to do you want to explain? Look, I the don't banana. Tie, I don't want to tie the whole for those in the story. audience that 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 might find it offensive or the Look, tweet associated I, with it offensive because I, I do have the I tweet. Yeah, I, you, I understand, and and you know the thing is that what I will say is that Antila is the one of the most diverse cyber collectors on all of the internet we have representatives from israel pakistan india russia united states canada we have even one in like ethiopia like we we have every color of the spectrum on antila and this group or i'm sorry this nft had all of our inputs this had nothing to do right. with the race this had nothing to do with anything but memorializing Etika for the great YouTube content creator that he was and what he did for the gaming community. So anybody saying that this is a race thing or any of that, just, I don't want to, you know, I understand the frustration. If somebody sees it that way, I, I totally get it. I mean, I alone, I was all at the Black Lives Matters protests 
personally me and so are other members of Antila. So basically just, uh, yeah, calling it a race thing is kind of disingenuous. And has, has Antila ever clashed with either Antifa or QAnon or any of these other sort of, uh, competing in the marketplace of free ideas, shadow organizations? No, I mean, you know, we, uh, we, we don't really have a political affiliation. I mean, we, we are, I would say if we did have one, it would be like centrism. Most of us are right, right there in the, in this, you know, middle of the spectrum, but we're not a political group. So you know, we, re we rec like we recognize there's diverse ideas. We, do, you uh, do you allow feds into your fold? <laughs> Absolutely not. Really? Yeah. No feds at all. Those aren't allowed. Um, I mean, but that, that. you know, that doesn't, that doesn't mean <laughs> what are you wait, are you a fed? No, I'm I'm not a fed, but, but okay, cool. we have taken the position on the girl cast that uh, feds are the most cent the, the most centrist class out of all oh, because they're yeah, because they they have to, right? They have to converge on and and uh, blend in with basically every ideological group that you can possibly we've imagine. Some, we've had some feds in Antigua and okay, well. and um, yeah, basically uh, you don't hear about them anymore. Oh well, I'm sure that they were treated fairly and uh, have have found have yeah. made their place. But that doesn't mean we're you know anti-cop. You know, not to get in that whole right. thing. But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure there might be. Uh, you know, we're, okay. so a lot of us are so a lot of us are like, you know, we have artists, we have programmers, we have landlords, we have a lot of scalpers. Um, you know, we have now we have NFT creators. So we are growing. This sounds, this sounds like a very group of, of very decent, hardworking people. Definitely, definitely. We um, we try and uh, you know put a lot of uh, we we get the the most you know first we're diverse like I said all over the, there's a global collective and we also have people that do a lot of different things. I mean Antila, I remember Antila was you know five people and now now it's it's like we have fifty people. I mean like we we have a ton of people and uh, we. That's yeah, that's amazing. I, I remember there was there was a point where we had tens of subscribers and now we have several hundred subscribers. So I there know exactly go. how it feels. And maybe this video might be, you know, a bunch more. It, it could. So I I want so everybody it, to know on the show, whoever's listening, you know, you, there's there's so many other people trying to you know, get um, clout. Off clout. Or there you go. Yeah. NFT. This is the only stream you're going to find on the Internet from the creators of the etiquette NFT. And we, and we, we do appreciate you accepting our bribe to come on and, and talk to us uh, about oh. your NFT. So I, I, and I understand that you don't want to talk about the banana. Okay. But let's, let's talk about something else for a minute. You, you do realize that for this video, I'm going to be right clicking these, these images, right. To, to, right, right, to get right. these into the video. And I, and I guess right. I should talk to you a little bit about, um, how you all kind of feel about this, this, uh, this aspect to, um, you know, the, the, the NFT sphere and, um, the, I guess the artistic integrity and, and everything like that, because like you said, you're commemorating this guy, you're doing this for the, for the fans, whether they appreciate it or not. And that, that's honestly really centrist. You don't really care how they feel about it. You're doing it for them. Uh, I mean, but, to be honest, if you think about it, Etika's whole fan base turned on him. De you know, he... Again, again was... you never really elaborated on that, so I, I don't really... Hmm? You, you never really elaborated on that. Okay, so his fan base, he was... Start so if you watch his last videos before, you know, he tragically took his life, his he, he, he always talks about how he lets his fans down, mm -hmm. how, you know, he he's like... I, I hate, like there's this video of him saying goodbye and it was like his last video. And he just talks about how, you know, he let his fans down, how he started at this point, how all that. And, you know, we're trying to memorialize him and make sure that people remember his name, his legacy and all of that. And yeah. So I understand that there's people that are upset, but the same people that are upset now, likely probably turned on him in the past. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to keep memorializing him and, you know, this is a surprise announcement, but oh. we are, 
going to be contributing some of the proceeds to um, suicide prevention charity. Of uh, um, oh. I don't I don't ha I don't have one I don't have one off the top of my head. You know, if, if anybody in the comments want, wants to suggest well, some, it might it might be a good idea. Who the whoever uh, ends up buying the rights to the NFT, maybe they get to choose. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, you know, this this is kind of all new, right? But right. It's something that we are going to do. I mean, we understand that people are upset and we want to make this right. We're going to keep, you know, we're going to keep doing what's right for Etika, the gaming community, mm -hmm. and for the NFT community. And sorry, you had earlier asked me about the whole right-click movement or whatever. I've seen the memes of the right-click. Well, those people don't know how... Ethereum works, how blockchain works. You see, a lot of the people in, in, in Antila have made fortunes with crypto, NFT. Uh, I mean, I, you know, me personally, uh, I'm a Bitcoin multimillionaire. And right. yeah, and, uh, and now I'm getting in the whole NFT game. I got, you know, a couple um, of the uh, board apes. Uh, I'm not going to say which ones, but I have a couple right, of for, them. This is for your safety, uh, obviously. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, just like I'm a, you know, I'm collecting NFTs. I see the movement, and and I think I think people that see the value of somebody like Etika and what he contributed to society and to the gaming community will realize that these NFTs that we have are going to be the hottest NFTs right now. We have more Etika Etika punks in the pipeline and. Better, even better is that we're constantly taking community feedback. Tomorrow we're going to release a few, and you know, we're gonna, you know, release some more. And I'm not here, you know, trying to sell these NFTs. I mean, I am, but I'm here to defend Etika's legacy from all of these people that are bashing that bashed him in the past, and they're bashing us for memorializing him. I'll, uh, I, I will definitely have to look into, you know, obviously as someone who likes to investigate all sides, I will have to look into, um, you know, the, the, the tragedy itself. I, I, when I saw a picture of him, um, well, first, you know, when I saw the NFT, I, I vaguely recognized, you know, who, who it was. And then I, and then I looked at the name and I said, oh, of course, that's, that's what the NFT is, you know, right. that's, that's what they're supposed to represent. And I, I vaguely remember seeing their videos, you know, obviously in my recommended because, you know, I am a lover of Nintendo uh, and, you know, I would often uh, I would often uh, watch videos that were related. I, I may have even watched his videos. So it, it like I said, I, I definitely sympathize with, uh, you know, what right. what you what you say this is all really about. Um, right. and, and back right. to the back to the article, though, it states that. When visiting the Etika Punks page on Rarible, the project the project expresses their uh, they're not officially affiliated with Etika or his family. Uh, at the time of reporting, there are zero bids on any of the three NFTs currently for sale. Um, so, how exactly do you do you plan to proceed if nobody seems to be interested uh, in in what you've created? As unfortunate as that is. Yeah, I don't know where that uh, that journalist getting their sources. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they, they probably uh, probably not. I will say, to. yeah, I mean, journalists. You know how pathetic they are. They um, they're beg they're they're begging for me to fucking say something so that they can write about it. That's how desperate they are. And you know, he's gonna write whatever he wants for his clicks. But like I said before, Antila is the most diverse group on the planet. We have members everywhere, and you know, them saying that nobody's buying it is absolutely fake news because yeah. we have people that are messaging us right now. Some guy's trying to buy one for $25,000 and those people that are reaching out for custom etiquettes and trying to, the one guy wants to pay $50,000 for one. I'm not going to say which one because we have, you know, people trying to clone our yeah. artwork. But somebody out there wants to pay us fifty thousand. It's the banana one. And no, it's not the banana one. But you know what? I do want you know. I know that the people are upset about the banana, and I covered that we're the most diverse group. You know, we have members everywhere. But the other thing is that I mean, like one of the best Nintendo games of all time was Donkey Kong. 
So like it has nothing to do with that. It's more to do, you know, that was like a part of the inspiration there. I didn't I know I didn't touch on that earlier, but I, I just anybody saying that Antila is racist or okay. I've I've seen people say Antila's transphobic. Speaking that is not true. Speaking of, okay. Uh, and this is this is honestly the most perplexing. This is where the article really loses me, right? And bring up Donkey Kong, uh, who happens to be uh, relevant to this. Uh, they 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 put at the end. <laughs> they put at the end for an example of how to properly commemorate the life of a creator. Check out this Super Smash Bros. mod that adds Etika as a playable character. Now, I want to ask you and the audience to think about this one for a second. How is this? more respectful when it's literally adding a avatar of the dead person into a game where you can beat him to death. That's my, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> you know how Twitter is, man. Twitter gets so what mad is... about everything. Like, I'm genuinely... I, uh, yeah. Like, look, we're making these to commemorate and memorialize a great YouTuber. And, and are you, are amazing. you going to be downloading this mod? Yes or no? Me, no, personally, no. I, I don't really game. I mean, I have a Nintendo Switch, but uh, gosh, I haven't played that in three years. Mm. My, uh, yeah, I made mainly uh, my daily life consists, <clears throat> you know, of, uh, you know, honestly, being a Bitcoin multimillionaire. Um, right. I, um, I mean, I, I do, you know, I do a lot of shit on, like, you know, I go on a lot. Of, I know, I just make sure. That, this, that's not important. You can cut that out. But essentially, um, yeah, so I, uh, yeah. So, but the other, but the other thing I will say though is that, look, anybody, we're always open to feedback from our fans, even our enemies, because if we're not listening to your suggestions, then what are we doing? You know, we do this for you guys. We do this because we want to make a difference in the lives of people through spreading the message of Etika and basically gamers, uh, you know, there, there's going to be people that are upset. I mean, didn't they just come out with Grand Theft Auto, one of the best games of all time, and people are like pissed off about that? I mean, you can't please everybody. Yeah, no, that was like seven or eight or 10 or 12 years ago. But but no, I, I understand what you're what you're getting at. You know, part of me feels like this outrage is kind of just, you know, again, it's symptomatic of the society that we inhabit in, in, in this day where people, you know, people just like to extrapolate meaning, the meaning that they want out of every little thing that they see. And, you know, it leads to people getting offended when they shouldn't be getting offended and it leads to people getting nasty when they don't need to be nasty. You yeah, know, exactly. Just just the other day, I got a I got a twenty four hour ban on Facebook. You know, which you know, I don't want to get into the the emotional impact that that's that's left me um, left me with. But you know, it was a twenty four hour ban, and it was because I told someone that they looked smelly. Now, obviously. I was concerned about this person's personal hygiene, just, you know, but, you know, by the way that they appeared in their PFP, but you know, the algorithm doesn't know that the people reading may misinterpret that. And, and suddenly I'm being, you know, irre <laughs> irrevocably, I mean, you irrevocably know, damaged. Yeah, I get it. And, but... and I think, and I think the same thing is happening to you. You're trying to, you know, you're trying to do something positive for the world and you're you're seeing this backlash that you know i think you would agree is misguided absolutely misguided definitely um I, you know the people that are upset so do you think do you, do you think this is you do, you, do you think this is a problem inherent uh to in today's society absolutely um i mean i personally I mean, Twitter, you know, it's a huge platform. Um, you know, there's people with all sorts of opinions and, yeah. I, you know, we, everybody has their own opinion. Um, but 
uh, we, 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 and Taylor, we got it. We got to stay focused. I mean, our focus is on commemorating, you know, a great YouTuber and somebody who made such a positive impact. So, I mean, yeah, I, I don't like that. You know, a lot of people are telling us to jump off a bridge or, you know, find the tallest building in your city and jump off it. Like, I, I and you know, in, in, well, just, in the, just, the, the irony, yeah. Well, the irony is that you know that's how that's how he passed, right? Like, right. he had these fans that were so so nasty to him that he he did you know end up tragically taking his life because he listened to these people. And us, we're not going to listen to that. You know, we'll listen to feedback, but people that are telling us to do such a disgusting thing, like jump off a building. I mean, are you truly a fan of Etika when you're saying things like that? I don't think so. Right. I mean, you're a fan of because telling people to go kill yourself. Them or me? Yeah. They, oh, so, they, they are fans of telling people. Well, to I mean, it's just, themselves. I don't think they're truly mad about, I think they're just, you know, people are like, oh, this is what we're all mad at. And they just collectively get mad. Mm -hmm. And, but, but I mean, like, like how, like, it's ironic that they're, they're telling us these, these things and like, you know, jump off a bridge and, and that's what Etika did. And, and it's so just, I, guess, I mean, I don't want to talk about that. I feel bad. No. Etika, RIP, like, God bless your soul. You were such, you were such an amazing why don't person. We, why don't we talk about, you know, something a little more positive, right? And obviously, yeah. uh, uh, obviously you you drew you you drew you know lots of inspiration from this person i i guess i would like to hear a little bit about you know your group as the collective as you know the 50 right. extremely diverse right, you know, right. individuals right, right, um, right. from all 193 countries um <laughs> what <laughs> what um what what would you say are some of your 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 favorite etica moments my favorite moments um well i mean i just love watching his like reaction videos i mean he had so yeah. many good ones that i can't really you know say which one was my favorite but mm -hmm. i definitely all all of them all you like all of them equally love, i mean probably. you know youtubers are gonna make some shitty content sometime that's just natural right but but i mean like as a person he just just he was really just an artist and he he brought a lot of you know joy to people's lives. So, I mean, I, yeah, I could I could sit here and say like, you know, I, I loved his review of this or that, but like, I think that would be like undermining just yeah. everything that he did. I'm I'm actually I'm looking through your Twitter right now, um, and just some of the replies, and there's there seems to be a lot of what what we would call um, in the industry internet blackface being used in response to uh, your project uh, people using basically people using caricatures of black people as a mimetic mimetic response um, do you think that's kind of racist yeah I mean absolutely uh, we definitely think that I mean we're like I said we're, we're like if I started counting all the African American you know people in Antila like I, I would I probably be more 10, probably, 15. Be probably more than black lives matter at this point. <laughs> I mean, you know, look, I, I, I support black lives matter and like I've been to the protests and stuff. So, well, so did totally. Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> no. So, you know, yeah. But I mean, just, you know, as, as but, you, as you should be aware, you know, supporting one thing, a good boy does not make you look, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now because I think that it would uh, undermine the legacy, you know, because like I said, this isn't about race. This isn't about politics. This is about just memorializing Etika, memorializing his legacy, his creation. And, you know, I, I, um, I know if he was around, he would probably be a movement, you know, fan of the Black Lives Matter movement. So, probably, probably I mean, to be honest, to uh, you know, I am, I am going to, I am going to give a little secret, you okay. know, an announcement to everybody exclusive. that it is an exclusive. We will be coming out with a Black Lives Matter NFT in his, you know, his uh, picture. Like we're, we're going to make a great one. And I think people are going to oh. really like this one. Yeah. 
And and how can I want to ask you a little bit about community, right? mm-hmm. community, community involvement? Uh, how can people? Um, I mean, obviously, besides you know the the ideal situation where they're giving you money in order to obtain these um, amazing pieces of artwork. Um, how can people kind of get involved in your organization? I think, is it safe to say that you're looking to expand Antila? We are, but we are very um, highly selective of who we accept into our movement and to our collective. I mean, we, it's not like you just like fill out a job application and we like call back 15. Like we kind of pick you. I mean, like we are looking for people that are, um, like I said, we have a diverse group of people. We have, programmers, crypto enthusiasts, NFT enthusiasts, um, bankers, we even have landlords. So, I mean, if you, I mean, if you are interested, like, uh, you know, feel free to right. DM us, but we're very, we're very selective. What are, and what are the qualities in the people that, that, uh, what are the qualities you look for in a person who, who may be a prospective, um, member? Mm-hmm. Well, we definitely like people that are creative. We like people that are um, into, you know, into the latest, whether it's, um, you know, technology, latest drama, latest YouTuber, like, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're kind of, I would say, like, uh, there's there's a lot of, you know, Gen Z in our group, so, mm-hmm. but, yeah, I mean, I mean, basically, like, I, the truth is, is, we're not really, like, like, don't call us we'll call you is kind of our motto i got you yeah got you. but i mean if you stand out you know we might we might let you in so what are what do you think are the the chances that uh, orion and myself uh could could you know could get an anti maybe maybe, maybe uh, well i mean you know to be 100 percent with you like we kind of are looking for people that can spread you know the movement i mean you guys are very skilled um podcasters you guys oralist oralists yeah you guys are good oralists you guys are what some of my friends on our drama.net refer to as bussy enthusiasts bussy oh yeah do you know what that means uh i feel i feel don't like worry, we don't we don't do, we don't do it right now. Uh, okay <laughs> but speaking of our drama yo you guys gotta check out our drama dot net man that that website oh you is, mean the sponsor of this episode yeah the sponsor exactly our drama dot net. Yeah. It's yeah. the biggest thought. Paid growing. us exact paid us exactly zero dollars. <laughs> so yeah. We gave you the exclusive. The exclusive so, interview, of course. Yeah, no, I I, 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 I got you. But what I will say though is that like I'm just I don't know, do you have do you have more questions or No, I mean if you got something you want to say, I mean I, if go for it. Yeah. Um look everybody that are mad. That are mad, <laughs> that are mad, or happy, or just Feeling feel casual. however you however you want to feel. There is an NFT out there for you, in Etika's name, and it is going to end up selling for more than you bought it for, and you can profit off an Etika NFT by going to rarible.com. The description is in the link. Go get your Etika NFT today. I mean, no, no, literally, no meme. Um, I I genuinely believe that this could be a big one. I ge- I genuinely believe, you know, as much as I am a you know a a boomer tech, you know, uh, person, and I don't really understand it all. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think you have something with real potential here. I I'm, really thank, do. I, thank you. Thank and you. I think I think this could end up making uh, you a lot of money, a lot of I money, mean, a, 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 a disgusting, quite frankly, a disgusting amount of money uh, well, that will look. that will then be obviously funneled into a charitable. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention is who really is going to benefit from all Gamers. of this. And gamers and gamers because his legacy just continues and and you know what anybody that's mad about this shame on you because we're doing this because we love etika not because we're trying to fucking throw dirt on his name excuse my language i'm i'm a christian 
landlords, billionaires, gamers, and truckers. Okay. Exactly. The LGBT. <laughs> we recently introduced journalists, but we're we're a little bit finicky, <laughs> on, finicky on that one at the moment, you know. Yeah, that's uh, the other right. thing, though. I will I will do want to say I know there's a lot of members of the LGBTQ community listening to this right now. <laughs> we love you, and we need you. So keep doing your thing. But anyways, thanks you, for having um, me. Yeah, but, no. yeah. I, we're of guys. course. I, I um I'm curious. Is this is this going to be the the sole focus of of Antilla? Or are you going to ha- or are you guys going to produce non well, Etica related? Well, NFT? we're like a well. The thing is, Antilla is like a you know to put a gaming reference. Since a lot of gamers out there, we're kind of like a we're kind of like a publishing house, right? Like mm-hmm. Antilla, you know, we we've been we've done other things in the past. We did. You know, love for landlords. Did other, you know, other things. And now, now um, we are um, like one thing we did was it was called the pass off, and it was basically um, it was helping empower trans folks um, mm-hmm. because we have a lot of trans members. And essentially, we did we did a beauty pageant where they, um, you know, it was a beauty pageant, and uh, you know now we we shifted gears. I don't. And our focus is now on, um, you know, NFTs. So we're like a publishing house, like a video game company. Right. Well, we were, we were, we were always behind um, uh, the the landlords project. I, I I'm fascinated to learn that you were uh, you were um, involved with that. Uh, that that you were it was an antique behind that. Right. And what what other projects have you? You want you want me to talk about the beauty pageant, don't you? I, I, yeah, I do. It was, uh, it was <laughs> I, just something. It was just something we had on Twitter. It was, uh-huh. it was some ideas of the trans members. They wanted to do a um, a contest, to like who, who, <laughs> kind of like, kind of like a rating, a rating kind yeah, of. Yeah, it was like hot or not, but it was like right, right. But not. I mean, that's okay if it's trans. I mean, but you know what? It's, it's, well, like, be, if it was just like if it was cis, it would be sexist, obviously. But. Right. Well, the thing is that we got a lot of community feedback from that project and we kind of we kind of sun we kind of sunset about that well yeah now. you know you know the yeah. you know the thing exactly. about community feedback is yeah uh, you, you it, can't backfired. Always... it backfired a little bit I and mean, we, we tried yeah i mean yeah i mean like, you can't always listen to it man you can't always yeah. listen to community feedback doesn't always lead you down the um the righteous path right right and i mean quite quite frankly most of the people in this quote in, in the uh, in the uh, hmm, how to say in, in the quote unquote community, I guess in the larger concept of community, I mean a lot of these people are uh, wing cells, you know, and um, huh. right. You really shouldn't take uh, much of what they hound you with right. for granted, as you're learning right now. Right, right, exactly, and um, yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, I mean, like you can only you can only listen to the feedback so much, but but I mean, we are we are look. I, I, what I'm going to say is that you know I'm I'm personally I'm in Israel, um, so it's pretty early. I stayed up pretty late reading a lot of the feedback, and you know I, we're we're going to definitely make you know some tweaks and and uh, we're going to make this one of the you know best. Um, one of the best NFT projects out there. So just keep an eye out for them. And every time that you pump that price up, just know that the foundation for suicide prevention gets more money. Well, you know, we are um, very happy that you were able to come on today and, um, you know, get, give you and, and Antila a, a admirable defense uh, against the critics and the the quite undeserved if I might say so, backlash. Exactly. And uh, exactly. We, we, we hope to see great things from you and your organization. Um, Thank you. This has been uh, Micah with the Grillcast signing off. Yeah, I'm old Take as care, a My mind's right, on right, Zuma. Right, right. Everything Yo, going uh, long as I'm not Laura Luma. If you think I'm not number one, I just spell that rumor. Hit that victory boy, yeah, along some motherfucking coochie. Default dance on a bitch. Hit the default dance on a bitch. Floss dance while I'm flossing in a whip. 
Victory Royale when that chopper hit. Mm. Self-incrimination, I have no participation. News keep asking, I don't say shit. You can't have my conversation.